Very strong. Donkey Kong, the last airbender. <laughs> uh, oh, winners customs. finals. IQ HQ, DK Will versus Mew Squared. How is this man still unsponsored? Mew Squared? I don't know. And wait, isn't IQ HQ just a crew? No, IQ HQ is a pretty legit sponsor. Yeah. Okay, no, no, no. I, I was thinking of, what is it? Uh, the June Bug crew. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You think about VGs. Yeah, they look a the number. Just random letters. Okay, so we're going to go Smashville. <laughs> they have no similar letters at all. No, <laughs> it's just like letters that I can't pronounce, like T-Lock's T-Lock. <laughs> all right. Game one on Smashville underway now. This is actually uh, honestly a matchup that, that I, I don't think I've ever seen before. Uh, maybe a, a couple of times at Shockwave's past. But not uh, at this level. But definitely not like at, the, at this sort of a level. This just kind of caught me off guard, honestly. So, as you said, I don't think I have ever seen this matchup. Like, I do not know. I assume it's the same thing of Donkey Kong is just going to space it out and try and get his punishes. But Mewtwo, what does Mewtwo usually want? Well, I think uh, <coughs> it, it, it's hard to say. Mewtwo definitely gets a lot off of tilts. They get a lot off of grabs as well. Um, but beyond that, I think uh, the big thing and the issue where DK Will might have some troubles is that spacing battle. DK does have long hitboxes, that's true, but Mewtwo's tail makes him almost like a sword character in and no, of itself. No, he has the longest sword in the game, as far as I'm concerned. Oh yeah, big swords on deck. And also, um, is it wrong to say that Mewtwo's a very momentum-based character? Because I feel like that's where Mewtwo has uh, taken the most stocks, taken the most percent, and it's just when he gets a chain of things and just starts getting that momentum, and he just doesn't stop after he has that. Oh, yeah. Whenever Mew Squared has momentum, he's terrifying, and he used that momentum actually in winter semis to triple two-stock Mewtwo King. Yeah, and can't forget before that when he um, zeroed to death MJG. Yeah, just, just crazy, crazy business. But again, DK Will. There's a whole game plan trying to figure out and setting up those situations where he can get those perfect shields and get those grabs. Because especially on a light character like Mewtwo, I think that cargo throw up air can be very devastating. Yeah, that sounds terrifying, honestly. And on top of everything else, I, you, because you know how Mewtwo just throws out like these uncharged shadow balls just to like get positioning. Donkey Kong usually grounded up these to use that super armor to go through it to just call it out and just nullify that projectile altogether. New Squared has been getting a lot of mileage with these Nairs. He's done a great job of intercepting DK Will anytime he goes airborne. But he's found himself off stage a lot, and that's letting DK Will get all the stage control he wants. And right there, that pivot grab into the up air, into that the stock. take it. Yeah. What percent was he at? You did predict that would call killing fairly early. 57? At the grab? When he got the grab? Yeah. I so. mean, and that was that was like a quick pivot grab, wasn't it? That yeah. That didn't set that up. Getting that little bit of extra pivot range. Pivot grabs are really scary in this. Have you seen Bowser's pivot grab? Oh my god, don't even get me started about Bowser's pivot grab, it's, Alpharetta. It scares me. I have nightmares, honestly. No, I, I, yeah, it's uh, it's it's every monster hiding under your bed and in your closet yeah. put together. But like, I mean, Bowser needs it, man. He needs something. Or just don't play Bowser. Yeah, you can just not play Bowser. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're going back to Wow! Right? <laughs> Alpharetta firing shots at everything in the building. Game no, two. I'm not. <laughs> You're just twisting my words. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> well, so game so two and has that momentum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got the momentum that you pointed out before. But one thing I really want to see him clean up is not go all in for some of these offstage kills as often. He needs to save that option from time to time because when DK Will has stage positioning and he has control, it's so much easier for him to intercept Mewtwo as Mewtwo is coming back onto the ground. That's how he got that last kill and that's how he shifted the game, which was going completely in Mew Squared's favor, right back into his when it counted. He, Mew Square is just doing such a good job of getting like stage positioning and then just going with it, but then DK Will just makes one right decision and it completely shifts. Because what happened last time was, oh, he's still alive. And but what happened yeah. last time? Okay, what happened was that he, uh, Donkey Kong goes down B to cover the roll behind, and that's exactly what Mew Square did, and it just called it out, and he got that all that percent just from doing that. That was good patience, very good. Oh yeah, we saw patience from both of these players. It's resulted in nice offense, great openings, but the failure to pull the trigger. Oh wow! Or a little too early. That was, I don't know if that was like a bait or what. I think he predicted normal get up, mm -hmm. but instead he rolled. And he's at 160%, so it is going to take a little longer to get up. 
Ooh, he missed base that just a little bit. That w easily would have been it. Because he has all those active hitboxes on the sides, but at the top, he is completely easy to hit. But that up throw will take it. All of these characters, like we said, get a lot off of throws, but for Mu Squared, it's going to be at a much higher percentage. DK will do a great job so far. Mu Squared might be starting to have the ball rolling in his favor, but in a horrible position oh, there. Wow. I don't even know what happened. It must have been like a, a weird, uh, I guess, trade if, with the spinning con. If I had to guess, it looked like he was trying to like the Fox Fair and drag him down with Nair. But what I think happened was like he accidentally accidentally did that thing where you like double jump mm. and he came down and he wanted to jump into Uppy but he just didn't have that jump. That's that's rather unfortunate. If I had to guess, that's what it kind of looked like. DK Will now a game away from going to Grand Finals and this was uh, one of my favorites I'd say to win the tournament as well. Yeah, absolutely uh, same. So it's no surprise really but despite all of that, this, uh, this up and comer even though it's a 2-0 right now, has, has made these sets seem pretty quick. It just feels like it kind of goes back and forth. And you can see, I guess, like, I guess I guess the levels of respect really building between both of these players as this set goes on. Yeah, Mew Squared is gaining a lot of respect amongst the top players now. He potentially becoming a top-level threat. So I'd love to see that happen with a Mewtwo player of all characters. Up here from Mew Squared. Now he's just being very patient. Uh, I think that maybe the forward air that Mew Squared got hit by before might have made him more respectful for uh, DK Will whenever he's falling in. But right there, he knows when to drop off the, off of the ledge, when to go for those drop zone fares. But DK Will also knows when to get those grabs. I'm surprised he didn't get the up air there. Truth I, be told. Mew Squared also, it looks like he has a bad habit of constantly rolling in. And DK Will, he calls his bluff every single time and just down bees. Really, really strange situation with the spinning Kong, but DK will able to come out on top nonetheless. 11% separate these two players. And that number is changed. 27%? <laughs> That's so much. It was like getting hit by all of Peach Down Smash in Melee. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously not as drastic, but still. No, I mean, and he wasn't even crouch canceling. So exactly. <laughs> that one's scarier. Yeah, that's uh, that's life canceling right there. Actually, running into that uh, spinning kong like that. DK oh, will. Hey. DK will. God, that looks scary on shields. If you could get that again, I wonder if it shield hook before he actually broke though. You have seen more of Mewtwo than I have. So. Yeah. <laughs> up Ooh, throw that could up be air it. stock. It. Yep, and. DK Will moves on to Grand Finals, but Mew Square definitely earned DK Will's respect. I just, he I performed incredibly. I love the way that he was playing at the end, DK Will, because he was down by so much, and he was just like, I know you're going to get greedy, I know you're going to get a little bit hungry, and I know that this is when I'm going to be able to capitalize. Absolutely. Opportunity pre presents itself. He comes out on top.